Hey guys, good morning. It's 7.41 and um, my mom is going to either be here or leave home. I think she said be ready at 10.15. So I have like two hours um, before she picks me up. So we have to drive out to my pain management appointment, which this doctor we were unsure of him at first, but this doctor is phenomenal. Um, it's a long drive out, uh, and it's something we have to do once a month, um, which does suck, but he's a really good doctor. He's always been, re like, the first couple appointments, we were, like, really unsure, um, and we were like, you know, this isn't the, the long drive, but um, it, he really it's yeah <laughs> no he's really really post post sepsis um he's been amazing in post sepsis it might have been but it might have been a little bit later even than that but um he's great and he you know i go in i like i personally ask if they need a urine sample instead of just waiting for me to give waiting to have them give me one like, you know, I'm all for telling, you know, showing that I'm not abusing the medication because, I mean, he has to have a solid amount of patients that probably are want to. So um, I'm all for proving that I'm using the medication the correct way. I actually underuse the medication. I'm on it when I'm conscious usually, but um, I am prescribed four pills a day and I usually do three. Sometimes I do two, but I usually do three. Um, the one thing that's been really shitty that um, we've had or that I've had to deal with with my mom, so I, I'm trying to get Adrian to like get on top of it too, is that my mom dispenses my medication and Adrian dispenses my medication. Like I have access to it, but they're the ones that give it to me because I'll forget. And um, the thing is, if I take it at a certain time in the morning and it's not when I'm actually getting up my mom I'll talk to my mom and not remember that I'm talking to her and she'll just put it next to my bed and that's it and I won't take it so I need somebody to like give it to me make sure I get up and take it in front of them before I lay back down and go to sleep um so that's what we're doing now Adrian's on top of that my mom's on top of that um and then it makes it easier for me to get up uh, so I didn't have, actually, my other, like, long-term pain medication. It's a tricyclic antidepressant used as a pain medication, so I didn't have that last night. So I only slept three hours. Um, but I'm watching Undercover Boss. I woke up, actually, with, um, pain in my jaw and pain kind of in my, like, sternum and pain over here. Um, and then I'm having pain on my the right side of like my hips and my knees, so I have a pillow in between my legs. Great, thank you for EDS. <laughs> um, thanks a lot. Um, yeah, and I'll just be going home today until Friday, probably. So. That's what's up. Um, good morning, guys, and I'll see you guys soon. So we came to a modern place um, out there where I pain management doctors and I came here a couple months ago. Uh, my mom and my sister had never been here, so we got hand-pulled noodles. I don't know what the difference is between the, the sliced and hand-pulled, but they actually do the hand-pulled and they actually like see um, while they're doing it, which is pretty cool. So we'll see, I've got a vegetable one. Um, how would you get? Allie got spare ribs and my mom got well, I guess we'll see when we get it. Look how cool that is. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it is.
is violent. She's very proud of her parking. We're going to see my grandma. How cute. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Aww. How's your day going, Rosie? <laughs> I think this is one of the funniest videos I've ever taken of her, of, uh, her. Hey guys, I thought I would just do an update. We're finally like home and potentially home for the rest of the night. Um, but uh, I had a successful appointment with pain management. Um, my doctor wants me to try a nerve pain medication similar to Lyrica um, that is, uh, he said it would be a moderate to severe case of restless leg syndrome, but he doesn't know if that's exactly what's causing my really weird pain. Um, but he said to just trial it, I got um, free samples. From him, so I'm gonna trial it, um, just see if it if it works. If it doesn't, we figure it out. Um, but I think we we just want to try to to get um, control over like every aspect of the pain, so we can better control the pain as a as like a whole. Um, and he's just a great he's a great doctor. He's very good to me, and I really appreciate I really appreciate what he does, um, and that he helps me. And he's open to to listen to me um so the appointment went really well i tried wearing a soft neck brace in the car to get there because it's an hour and it worked really well so i might start using that for car rides but whatever um and then on our way back we got uh ramen and um which you guys saw I had maybe like a third of mine, my sister had about half of hers, my mom finished hers, um, but it was really good. And then on our way back we stopped for coffee and, you know, the day was just going really, really well. And um, it's still good, but then me and my sister, we came home, the three of us just chilled for a second. And then me and my sister went to go see my grandma and she's just like, I haven't seen her since Friday. She's just very, um, it's just kind of, she's just, it's a bad state, and it's uncomfortable for her, and she just, I mean, okay, sorry, I just got off of a 22-minute phone conversation with my aunt, um, yeah, she's just in a really bad state, obviously, this is nearing the end of her life, and her body's just holding on, and she doesn't want to, understandably so, and, um, It's heartbreaking watching this because, um, obviously, I love her and I want her around, but I also don't want her to suffer. So it's just been really difficult to to figure out what to do, um, like overall with my entire family with this situation, and it's just like it's been too much. Um, I want to go and sit outside and just lay in the sun. I have um, a blanket and I have my speaker. Um, I just want to, I brought my three coloring books that I have at Adrian's home so I can work on them. So I think it'd be really cool to sit out and just do that. Um, and uh, my little friend is out there. Um, she is so cute and apparently um, 
the the only like she'll let my sister and my mom pet her but I'm the only one that she really like runs up to and and now she's even getting to a point where she can sit on my lap and I'm not holding her that she'll actually sit and lay down which is really sweet and I've I've worked hard to get her to be as socialized as she is um, but yeah that is what's going on I think I'm actually gonna do this page so all right I am going to set everything up so I can lay out in the sun and get some vitamin D I'm getting my stuff together look how can you say no to this face oh <gasps> my baby oh. I'm gonna get my stuff together and go out. Hey you guys, so it's been a little bit, a little bit of a while, a little while. Um, we watched our documentary, as we do every week, and I'm kind of just, my mom, my mom cleared out actually my room, which I kind of feel bad about, but um, everything is cleaned now. I just, I couldn't do it. Um, but I'm getting my little, uh, like, mini desk thing out and I think I'm going to put it in a space in my room that I can just use as like a floor desk um, so I can color or um, edit the videos or whatever um, so I think I'm going to do that I want to color oh I want to show you guys what I'm up to with that page I know it doesn't look like anything special yet but this is how the page is going so far um, and Yes, yeah, so I'm just trying to figure out how this medication is going to work, and I'm a little nervous, but hopefully this helps. He said it would help sleep, too. Um, yeah, I don't want to close out the vlog yet, but um, that's what's going on. I think I'm going to get through another video and um, export that, and then we'll sit back down to do some coloring. Today's been a crazy, crazy, crazy day. Um, we had to get two other prescriptions filled and it was just kind of a mess today. <clears throat> but um, the day's been okay. Just with my grandma, things were hard, but anyway, only so much you can do, I guess. Also, before we watched the documentary, we were watching, me and my sister and my mom were watching the Demi Lovato documentary, I guess, on YouTube. And I wasn't like, I like her music, but it wasn't like I was obsessed with her or anything. And like my viewpoint of her just completely changed. I didn't realize like all the stuff that she was going through and like where she is now. It's really, it's really cool to kind of see what was going on behind closed doors and then like see what you're seeing now. Um, so even if you aren't like a Demi Lovato fan at all, definitely check out the documentary. It's really, really, really good. Um, yeah, I just cleaned my stuff up, finished one of the videos, and then we'll maybe put another one up, and I got my coloring, so I'm gonna wait, I think, another 15 minutes to take my other pain med. Yeah, another 15 minutes, so check out the Demi Lovato documentary. It is very, very, very good. So basically, I'm eating some mango sorbet right now. I have been... I'm doing some vlog stuff, so I'm sitting back down to this. I got my light up there so I can see in more detail. And my big thing is that I'm the kind of person that, like, wants things done and wants things done quickly. And, um, I recognize that in any form of art, even if it's just coloring, like, you need to have patience, otherwise it's going to come out bad. Um... And I want to use this as like a meditative, even though I'm watching something, um, I want it to be like a meditative thing while I'm like expressing myself. I don't know if this is making any sense, but um, so I'm just going to do this until I get tired enough to go get in bed and um, go to sleep. So. I'm going to close out the vlog and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching.